Hi, how to extract data to a SQL Server database. This is with PDF Data Extractor Enterprise version only. Now we, we've provided an example. So if you go into File Menu Load Setup, if you load this example here, Example 1 SQL, SQL. And what that does in the setup, in the extra fields, extra processing, it sets up the uh, SQL script to run with the data from the extract. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and how it works. So first of all, I need to set up a database. I've installed Microsoft SQL Server. This is the SQL Express free version, which you can download from Microsoft website for free. Um, I'm going to create a new database. So I'm going to do, I've already provided a, a script to create a, this example database in your local SQL Server installation. So if you look for a SQL query, which is under Enterprise Examples. So if you go to this path here, you can see the SQL query there. Now what that does, it's quite simply just creates a database example and then creates a table and a few fields. Now the count number is going to be populated from the software, which is extracted from a PDF. And also it will put in the file name and file title as well. The ID, you don't actually need that, that's just a unique identifier which is automatically applied by the database table. So once you've imported it like that, you can just click execute. So if you now go on databases, you'll see the example and the table, my table there. So you can select the rows, if you right mouse on it, select top thousand rows. At the moment it's nothing in it. This is exactly what we want. Now if you go to the example in the software, you can just click process like normal. You can look at the output report if you want to, so you can see the difference. So all that does, it opens it in Excel, so you have those three account numbers output from the PDF, which are in here. So if you go down the PDF, it's extracting that number there. And then that one, okay. So if I go down now to the SQL Server, I should be able to execute it. As you can see, it's already populated the database with the example from the PDF there. You have up to 200 fields into the database from the software. So you can extract any information you want and import a database directly this way. But now this time, Execute again. Say so if you have uh, lots of PDFs, they can do it in batch mode as well. We prepare a list and then you can put all your PDFs in there and click process and it will populate the database. You can also do hot folder monitoring, go into a monitor. Uh, so you can have a, a flow of documents put into a folder or a processor and populate the database for you. You can also do multiple different setups as well for each monitor folders, you could have lots of different ones going at the same time. Now if you want to look at the actual uh, SQL script, because you will need to change this to your database requirements, hit right mouse edit on sql.bat, that's in the examples folder, same folder as before, you can see that the DOS script is doing a SQL command, connecting to the database, and that the percent one, percent two, percent three, that's a field coming from program. So if you look at the extra processing setup, you can see that file name is that one there. This is a field one. File title is field two. And account number is the actual extraction data, which is field one uh, of the extraction. You can have up to 200 of those here, which is the account number. And then it does a SQL insert into the database. Obviously you can do other things as well. You can run a query, you can do lots of things. But this is just a simple example. So that's how you set it up. So say if you wanted to put in uh, two fields, you can just put F2 in close square brackets with quotes 
So you can have things like slash characters and apostrophe characters. That will do both those two columns. And that's it. Give it a try.